chapter one stress normal shear and and bearing stresses in a design let's solve a problem which they use all the normal shearing and bearing stresses in a pragmatic design problem so in this example we have a two load applied this one 50 one 15 apply to bracket bcd that's bcd as shown part a if we do know the control rod this is our control rod in the yellowish area over here which is the force of p applied okay, our control rod is made of a steel with an ultimate normal stress of, of 600 megapascal we want to determine the diameter of, of our control rod if we know the factor of safe, safety Respect to failure is a 3.3. And in part B, we want to, if we know the pin at C, also made from a steel, having ultimate shearing stress this time of 250 Pascal, we want to determine the diameter of pin at C, diameter of our pin. And, and again, with the same factor of safety. And in the last session, we want to know, determine. What is the required thickness of the bracket supports at C? If we do know the bearing stress of a steel is 300 megapascal. So let's uh, go through them one by one in this interesting example of, of, of shear, bearing, shearing, and normal stresses. So The very first step in such problem is drawing the free body diagram. If we draw the free body diagram of if we release sub, uh, a structure from supports and, and see the effect of forces, so we do have a C bar at C max. There is a P apply at, at the control rod over there, and there are two forces of 50 and 15, which are applied at two distances based off of our problem statement. So if we develop the moment about point C, we simply cancel out these two forces, and that says P times a 0.6 meters mm -hmm, minus 50 times 0.3 minus 15 times 0.6 meters goes zero. It just gives us a P is equal to just at control rod is going to be 15 kilonewtons. Summation of forces in x direction simply says if this is p in pool, cx is pooch and with the same amount of 40 kilonewtons. Likewise, summation of forces in y direction tells us cy should cancel out the combination of these two forces and that's simply 65 kilonewtons. So far, we calculate all the forces of our, our configuration and in that sense C is consists of two components of X and Y and that's numeric value of that is the square root of CX square plus C Y square and that's a almost C is equal to 76 kilonewtons. So for control rod A B, which is the very first part, we know factor of safety is a 3.3 provided, sigma acceptable or allowable, normal acceptable normal stress is is to a ultimate normal stress over factor of safety so ultimate is provided with problem statement factor of safety is provided with delta statement just gives us sigma allowable is, is 181.8 megapascal so in designing when p is 40 kilonewton based of our calculation Required area for AB for control rod AB. This is our control rod AB. Is P over acceptable normal stress. So 40 kilonewtons, which we calculated for the function over our acceptable normal stress, which we just calculate, gives us 200 to 20, 10 to negative 6 meters squared uh, area required for control rod. So and and Again, for our area uh, is a quarter of pi d squared. Calculate that it just gives us a 
diameter of control rod equal to 16.74 meters in in second part for shear stress in pin c which you can simply see that's in a double shear condition so again shear alone or acceptable is ultimate shear over factor of safety so again based off the problem statement that's a ultimate shear is 350 megapascal factor of safety provided like for entire system to a3 and that gives us a acceptable shear of 106.1 megapascal so pin c is a clearly under double shear from the figure the area required based of double shear that's c over p the force applied to that which we calculate in section and seven six point three and that's over two because of double shear over the acceptable shear which we just calculated to be 100 106.1 megapascal if you do the math it just gives you required area for pin c is 360 meters squared so if we do know the area is a for pin is a 360 and that's a quarter of pi times dc squared it just gives us a minimum value of 20.21.4 we just use a diameter of, of p 22 meters that was the second part and, and b ring stress at c is also that p ring is applied let's go with different color is applied at this area the thickness of t and the diameter calculated to be 22 millimeters this rectangular area applied half of c do double shear is going to handle the big stress so if using d is equal to 22 millimeters nominal bearing area of each brackets of each of these bracket is 20 times t as we discussed so that's a c over 2 because each of them handles a half of the force c over 2 over sigma, sigma alone that's 76.3 over 2 this time over sigma but for bearing stress which is provided in part c of problem statement just gives us an area of 127.2 millimeter square and that's 22 times t which is this small greenish area rectangle and that simply gives us a thickness of of 5.78 millimeters that was a solution for our problem which is a combination of, of normal stress a shearing stress and bearing stress in design of a double pin control rod thank you